Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome to the Keep Productive YouTube channel if you're brand new. I'm Francesco, I'm your host on here on the channel uh, and we put out regular videos here all about productivity apps and resources. So it's Sunday today, so I thought I'd put out a video uh, that would be helpful for you guys uh, it's basically a collaboration with Scott from Simplativity. I'm a real big fan of his content. He puts out all types of content about Trello, Google Calendar, and lots of other resources that you can use in project management, in like uh, productivity in general, personal productivity, and just to keep yourself a bit more efficient and tidy. Now, Scott has done a video for us guys, which I really, um, I, well, I watched it last night and was very enjoyed, uh, enjoyed it. Uh, and basically it's all about how you can use the likes of Trello, to organize your content management system. If you're a creator or someone who even has a thought of creating, using Trello to organize all of that content management system is very helpful. So Scott is gonna demo how he uses it, how other people use it, and how you can get started using it too. I'm really excited for this one, so make sure to jump, jump over to Scott's channel in the description below to go and subscribe. He'll be doing, a I'll be doing a video over there very soon about Evernote and uh, to do it. So I'm sure you'll enjoy that one over there. Thank you very much, guys. I'm going to pass over to Scott now, um, but make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers. Hello, everyone. Scott Friesen from Simpletivity. And I want to thank Francesco for having me back on his YouTube channel. You know, something that is common between myself, Francesco, and probably many of you is that you are producing content in some way, shape, or fashion. Perhaps you manage or publish a blog. Uh, perhaps you have your own podcast. Or perhaps you too have your own YouTube channel right here on YouTube. And sometimes it can be challenging to manage all of those ideas that you have, uh, deciding you know what should be published, what has been published, and what's in development. So today, I want to share with you how to manage your content within a Trello board, a very simple but powerful way to manage that process within Trello. So regardless if it's a blog, a podcast, a video, a YouTube channel, anything, how to manage your content, whether it's for yourself or perhaps for your team as well. So to get things started, I've just begun with a brand new Trello board. I've just named it something pretty simple here, my company's blog. So let's start off by creating a few different lists. And really, it's got to start with our ideas, right? You might want to label this blog ideas or video ideas, whatever type of content you're producing. This is where we want to be really free with the ideas and the things that pop up or bubble up from time to time. So anything that comes to mind, we want to be able to freely add it here under ideas. Next up in our list, let's add something called in development. So if you're writing a blog, perhaps these are articles that you are currently writing, or perhaps you're researching at the moment. If you're producing um, audio, such as a podcast or video, such as your YouTube videos, maybe this is where you, you know, you record it one day and then you edit it a next day and then you add some other uh, fancy transitions on the third day. So this is where you want to put things that you've already started. They've transitioned from ideas. Now, the third list that we want to add here might be more applicable to those who work with a team or for a company, and that is waiting for approval. Now, this can be a very important step because perhaps you have an editor or perhaps you are the editor where you need to approve the things which have been completed, which have already been written, have already been uh, produced here, and you're needing to get some feedback or you need to give the feedback on those who are producing that content. And even if you are a solo content producer, perhaps you want to get some feedback from others. Maybe you've got a close friend or you've got a colleague that you like to, uh, you know, run these posts by. Maybe you want to put it here in this type of step. Now, the next one we want to put here, this is the fourth list, is the approved list. So now at this point, we've, we've given it the green light. We've said, yes, we like what we've done. Maybe we went back and made a few different edits. Here we have approved it. But of course, there's one last step, the most important step, and that's going to be our final list here. And that is when it is actually published, right? When you've actually published it to your website, whether uh, you've actually uploaded it and it is now live on YouTube, 
YouTube or wherever you post your content. So these are the five different lists that we want to be working with as we're managing our content within Trello. Now ideas, uh, let's say, uh, you know, Sam's, uh, Sam's cat next door. That was a fun article that we wanted to write. Uh, tomorrow is always better. That's another article I wanted to, uh, I wanted to produce and chocolate is great in the morning. So let's say those are some of the uh, some of the pieces I'm thinking of writing, some of the ideas here. Now in Trello, in most cases, we want to be moving this from left to right, right? That's how we've created these lists here at the top of our board. So let's say I've started writing this, I've, I've written, um, you know, part of it, this particular article. So it's in development right now. I, I haven't really figured out the ending to it. So it remains here in the in development side. But but let's say that I've already finished writing this particular blog post. So it's it's already gone through the in development stage and now I want to send it to my editor or perhaps at this stage I've got a few close friends that I email this out to so they can review. Well, of course, when you are collaborating with others, you don't want to just use email to do so. No, you can actually invite them to join this board, be a part of the process. So if we click on this card, uh, not only can we add Add more details but we can add a comment we can invite someone and say hey will you please uh, review uh, review this article I'd really love your feedback and they can use the comment section as well so they, they can give that feedback directly here in Trello of course we can attach that file whether it's a video file whether it's audio whether it's a text-based blog file we can attach it directly here uh, from the attachment link here another thing I might recommend is actually going one step further and let's go to our menu and go to our power ups and if you use a service such as Dropbox or Google Drive for example you may want to enable that power up let's go down and see if we can find Google Drive there's Google Drive if we enable this particular power up then what we can have instead of just uploading that document or uploading that piece of content we can actually have a direct link to it so you can have those edits you can make those changes within within Google Drive and you don't have to worry about re uploading or reattaching that file you can always have the latest version there so it might be worth while to enabling a particular power up whether it's Google Drive whether it's Dropbox whether it's some other file sharing so that you can have it directly related to these cards now eventually we're gonna we're gonna get approval we're gonna get that feedback we're gonna put it in this uh, in this bucket here or in this list here and we might just have to wait to see when is the ideal publish date of course in the approved list we could add a due date right before it's published we could say well I want this uh, I want this in mid-October I'd like to do it on the 18th of October I can hit save and now I've got my uh, scheduled date right on the front of the card I can see when this is about to be published and when that date finally arrives I can transition it into the published column it's ready to go I know that it's live I can continue to monitor the the comments and other feedback that I'm receiving from that piece of uh, content if I want to I can go back in here and actually put this checkbox on the due date and that'll say Signify that yes, uh, it has been uh, it has been published. It's live and ready to go. Lastly, if your published list is getting too lengthy, depending on how many articles or how many pieces of content you produce at once, don't forget to archive that content. Instead of just having a, an incredibly long list of content here, you can always come in here and select archive. Uh, remember, that's different than delete. We're not deleting this. We are just archiving the card. We get the notification at the top. This card is archived. We will not see it in this list but we can always search for it. We can either use the search bar to search for it or we can come back to our uh uh, we can back to our menu and select archived items and there it is we can always go back into it we can read all the comments we can see everything as we did before by coming into the archive setting 
So no matter what type of content you may be creating, I hope this video has been helpful. Remember, you don't need a series of events or you don't need a number of lists that are, you know, 10 steps in length. Sometimes as few as five or maybe six will do um, as a part of your content creation process. So thanks again for Francesco for having me on the channel today. Be sure to subscribe to Francesco's channel here on YouTube. And if you'd like to learn even more about Trello and how to use Trello, be sure to subscribe to Simpletivity as well. Thanks again. And remember, being productive doesn't need to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.